Hey everyone, we're back with another um, short trailer, short special look to react to. It's for uh, the sec second season of The Mandalorian, which is releasing on Disney Plus, I believe, at the end of October. But um, they've been releasing like small snippets up to this point. But they gave us another one, and it's about a minute long. So let's see what they show. I'm pretty sure they're not going to show us anything. But let's take a look and let's get excited. Ice I'm here on business. I need your help. Oh, they're I've back. I've requested to bring this one back to its kind. If I can locate other Mandalorians, they can guide me. This is no place for a child. Wherever I go, he goes. Season streaming October 30th, only on Disney Plus. So yeah, like I said, it was only a short look, and yeah, they call it a special look. But yeah, it was a special look because um, uh, it is more of the same scenes, but I think they're a little extended. But they're giving us um, more locales of where Mando will go next with the child. So there's an ice planet now. I think he's gonna go down to the underworld, which is like I guess there's like an underground fighting match. Um, and of course we have Gina Carano and Carl Weathers returning. Uh, and it looks like everyone's just enjoying uh, their time on set. Like just having fun making the story. And I'm kind of glad that um, despite there being, um, you know, the Rona going around, uh, they still are able to be in production and finish um, production for season two. So glad, that's ha uh, glad it's coming out. Um, but I guess a big sticking point for the story will be getting the child back to its uh, original, like it's to its own race of, of alien, to its own race of uh, beings, creatures, I don't know what you call them, but back to its race. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting how they're kind of adding more lore to in uh, the Mandalorian, <laughs> but you know, they're expanding the universe once again, um, as they've done over the years with books and comics and other mediums, shows, and, you know, it's cool how, uh, even in the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, they kind of devoted some time to, um, showing the Mandalorian people and their culture and kind of the things that they went through, because I think they were kind of, um, shoved off to the side in society. But it's kind of cool how uh, we're getting more of their culture in live action. I don't know how many of them are left. Because uh, at the timing of the show, it's like what? Um, after the fall of the Empire and the return of the Jedi. So um, we'll see what happens. But speaking of Jedi, uh, it's cool that they're not showing um, Rosario Dawson cast as Ahsoka Tano. That's a, that's a thing, right? That's true. That's a fact. So... Uh, it's good that they're not showing her yet, because if they showed too much, or if they full gave us a full-blown trailer that showed too much, then we've pretty much seen out the whole show, right? So, they're kind of just um, te teasing us into, uh, towards the release of the actual show on Disney+. Plus. But, uh, I'm excited, are you excited? What are you excited to see in Season 2? Who do you hope to see? Um, aside from maybe Ahsoka, what other characters do you th hope to see? I personally want to see um, if they're gonna bring in other characters, like from other uh, mediums, like games or comics. Like, imagine if they brought in—I think I saw—I said this in the other video, but imagine if they brought in Cal Kestis, uh, the Jedi character from uh, Jedi Fallen Order. That would be crazy. And you could just hire the same uh, the same actor because they based it off of his uh, his face. So we'll see. But uh, let me know your thoughts about. Uh, season 2 of The Mandalorian, what you're excited for. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll see Moff Gideon uh, and how he got the Darksaber, but please leave all your comments, uh, uh, leave all your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching another video, and I'll see you in the next one.